Mrs. Graham, the algebra teacher in Brandon. Now, I've told this story before, but I, I couldn't remember her name. Her name was Mrs. Graham. Brandon was kind of a ra rascal when he was in junior high, and I think he was 8th grade or ninth grade. I don't recall. I think it was 8th grade, but he came home one day, and he had some crappy grades in algebra. I says, what's going on? He says, I hate that teacher. She sucks. She's horrible. I'm like, oh, really? Well, I'll call her and find out what's going on. Let me see your grades. I could see that he got a bad grade. I think that's how it was. Maybe it was bad citizenship. I called her. Her name was Mrs. Graham. I got a hold of her. I says, Mrs. Graham, what's going on with Brandon in class? He's got a bad grade here, and he says that there's some problems going on. She goes, Mr. Hunt, I was going to call you and talk with you. I really would like to talk with you about Brandon's situation. I says, okay, we'll be right up. Five minutes. I, I says, Brandon, get in the car. He says, I'm not going up there. I says, yeah, you're going up there. I'll take you up there one way or the other. You're going to go with me. Got in the car, went up to the junior high, went into the junior high, and I says, okay, Brandon, you tell me your side of the story. Mrs. Graham, you tell me your side of the story. Basically, Brandon was goofing around in class. And, and I said to Mrs. Graham, I said, listen, Mrs. Graham, if you ever have a problem with my son in algebra ever again, Here's my phone number. I wrote my phone number down and gave it to her. I says, you call me anytime you have a problem with my son, and I'll come, and I'll sit behind his ass in school, right in this class, and I'll make sure he behaves for you. And I know you don't want me coming up to class, right? So you better behave. He, I never got any more uh, complaints from her about him because he shaped up. I supported her. But ever after that, every time I saw her after that, wherever I was in the school, at the end of the hall, at a basketball game, wherever I was, she always goes, Hi, Bruce, how are you? It's good to see you. She was the nicest teacher to me because I, I, I supported her in disciplining my son, and I made sure my son behaved well for her. My dad, if I was disrespectful with a teacher, my dad would have kicked my ass. Okay, There was no room for that. I was respectful. I had to be respectful with people. And whatever it was, I had to be respectful. Now, there were some teachers at the junior high that were horrible teachers when I was growing up that didn't deserve the respect that we gave them, but we still had to give them respect. So, but she was, but she, but she was very nice with me ever, every time she saw me after that. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Mrs. Graham. So her name was Mrs. Graham. It finally came to me after about a year trying to remember who she was. Anyway, uh, moral of the story is, when you sit down and when a teacher's trying to teach you something, that's her job. Shut up and listen and be, and be nice to them. Um, one other story, I have uh, one of my friends is a counselor up in, up in another school. And he said he had a dad come in one day with his son. And uh, he sat down and, and the son was causing a lot of problems at school. And the, the father was sitting next to the son. The the principal was sitting there facing the father and the son and telling the, telling the father what, what was going on. And the dad says, what's going on? What's happening? He asked the son what was going on. And without, all of a sudden the dad just wham, just drilled the kid in the side of the head. And he says, don't you ever give this principal or this school any more problems or I'll deal with you again myself. Walked out of the room and the principal's like, holy crap, that dad just decked his son. Anyway. I don't think it should go to that point, but maybe sometimes it has to, but kids need to be respectful of adults, and adults need to be respectful of kids also. But uh, be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Thank you, Mrs. Graham.